delicious girl. You're just small time. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. to change your clothes. around the back and use the service door. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi.
Hey, Paul's got some business upstairs. Or maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guys been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Hop. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult.
What am I gonna do? Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty.
Josh and McCann technology of absolutely no use to anyone. You can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Ah, uh, thanks. So, tell me about Fernando's New Beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle. A blessing. It is a revolution in the marriage guidance for my... I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, you won't be eating forever. It's a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was early, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a bit different. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, Laszlo. If a man was born an angel, maybe he passed away. But a man is born a man. And a man with needs. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. So he starts flirting with his secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds. Sweetheart, she hates you. Your British secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I my heart, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage, and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the... Sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's New Beginnings because that is what it is. A new beginning, Laszlo. So, how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread six and a half days a week. And the spare half day, I say, is like. Oh, 
What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to a pleasure he has lost to the miracles of the world. And truly, the results are remarkable. With my free counseling, a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more to be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, last low, they know what they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones if you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy. Ring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bustable woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He'd come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy. But first of all, she gives Jerry five kids. But she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive line. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me, and he cries, Fernando. Union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. 